I've made it! I've travelled back in time 106 million years to the time of Lee Eleanorsora. Look, Hattie was right. There's snow on the mountains, even though it's summer. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be warmer in the forest. Well, this is where Hattie said Lee Elinosaura lived, so I should find some eggshells around here somewhere. <gasps> Hang on, what's that? If you look really closely, you'll see two sleeping Lee Elinosaura, perfectly camouflaged in the green forest. I suppose in a cold place like this, you'd take any chance you could get to have a nice nap in the warm sun. Oh, look at them. I could wake them up and then follow them back to their nest. No, I'll let them sleep. Sweet dreams. This lot are wide awake. They're munching on some lovely green ferns. And this one is acting as lookout. Now, I don't suppose your nest is nearby at all? No? Any spare eggshells? No? Don't worry, it's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. It's a polar allosaurus one of the deadliest Australian dinosaurs that ever lived. <sighs> that was close. Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole. Allosaurus eggs. And I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs. Here he comes. I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just gonna. Whoa, that was close. The size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And they are all the brothers and sisters. Now, hopefully, they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. What's that one spotted? Two hungry ornithalestes. 
think they might be after the babies. I need to get the mother's attention. It worked! She scared them away. I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The babies! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. <laughs> it's OK. She's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. It says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. Including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. That could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful! Oh, well, that was completely unnecessary. Look at her. I think she's hurt. I'm going to go after her. Great! Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Right. Modeling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked! Just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The babies! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. <laughs> OK. She's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. It says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. <sighs> Including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. That could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful!
careful. Well, that was completely unnecessary. Look at her. I think she's hurt. I'm going to go after her. Resting. Great. Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Right. Modeling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked. Okay. <laughs> Clock. Just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. Oh, that smell! It stinks! Maybe there's something in Hattie's backpack I can cover my nose with. Hmm. Oh, there's my sandwich for later on. Oh, what's this? That's what I was looking for. Brilliant! Oh, that's better. Although it is a good thing that the smell's getting stronger, it does mean that we're closer to the... To the volcano. I just need to get even closer before that T-Rex over there comes and gets me. T-Rex? It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it says here that... And we're not only one of the most massive meat eaters to have ever lived, but also had a great sense of smell and fantastic eyesight. Although, he doesn't seem to be interested in me. More Hattie's backpack. What's he want with that? I can't let him take that. Uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, hello? Oh, uh, can you put that down, please? Oh. oh, that was easy. Too easy. Uh, friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Lovely dinosaur. With razor sharp teeth. A hungry look in his eye. Oh, maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Huh? No, that doesn't belong to you, that's Hattie. Come back! What do you even want it for? That's Hattie! Come back! There he is! He's tied himself out. He's fast asleep. Wish me luck. something in here that he wants. My sandwich. My meaty sandwich. This is what he's after. Are you hungry? Oh, what's that? I hope I'm going the right way. Hmm. I think I'm close. Oh, ouch. Who put that there? Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna sit on this rock until the mist clears. Ah. Oh, this rock feels like it's moving. What's that noise? Obviously hungrier than I thought. Ah, the mist has cleared, I can see things now. Like that T-Rex I was after. <gasps> T-Rex! Two of them, and they're both asleep. 
All I have to do is wake them up, get them to roar at me, I can record it on my gizmo, then run back to the clock. Right. How'd you wake a T-Rex up? Um... Hooey! Wakey, wakey! Come on now! Up you get! Um... Up! Get up! Wake up! Gonna do this isn't working. Oh. All right, that's what we're talking about. I just need. Hang on, where are you going? Now, if one of you could just. Okay, I think I've got it. You can stop now. I better go! No! I think I've lost them. Oh no! How did they get there? They must have overtaken me. How am I going to get past them to the clock? The museum. It's going to open soon. Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. A rescue flare? How's that going to help me here? There's not going to be anybody around here to rescue me for the next 65 million years. Um, unless... Yes, it's working. They're distracted by the smoke. All right, here I go. Time to head back. Oh, that smell. It stinks. Maybe there's something in Hattie's backpack I can cover my nose with. Hmm. Oh, there's my sandwich for later on. Oh, what's this? That's what I was looking for. Brilliant. Oh, that's better. Although it is a good thing that the smell's getting stronger. It does mean that we're closer to the... To the volcano. I just need to get even closer before that T-Rex over there comes and gets me. T-Rex? The Tyrannosaurus Rex? And it says here that there were not only one of the most massive meat eaters to have ever lived, but also had a great sense of smell and fantastic eyesight. Although, he doesn't seem to be interested in me. More Hattie's backpack. What's he want with that? I can't let him take that. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me, hello? Uh, can you put that down, please? Oh. oh, that was easy. Too easy. Uh, friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Lovely dinosaur. With razor sharp teeth. A hungry look in his eye. Oh, maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Huh? No, that doesn't belong to you. That's Hattie's. Come back! What do you even want it for? That's Hattie! Come back! There he is. He's tied himself out. He's fast asleep. Wish me luck.
There must be something in here that he wants. My sandwich! My meaty sandwich! This is what he's after. Are you hungry? my way out the forest yet. I got a bit distracted. Baby Diplodocus, a whole group of them. But why are they here and not the adult ones? Oh, they live in the forest so they can hide in the plants just in case the hungry dinosaurs come along and try and find them. Let's get a closer look. As you can see, they don't just hide in the plants, they eat them too. They're stripping the leaves off the ferns and gobbling them down without even chewing. Terrible table manners. But they need to eat lots so they can get as big as the adults. That might be one of the adults now. Come on. It's a pterosaur! Oh, this one's only tiny, but it says here that some pterosaurs were the largest flying animals that ever lived. She off to. But no pterosaur was ever the size of this dinosaur. Oh, look at the size of this Diplodocus. It's huge. And it's only a teenager, which means it's going to get even bigger. Look. There are some more over there. And they're eating ferns too. Are those the ones I need? No. The ones I need are the giant ferns that the adults eat. I need to get out this forest. Come on. Well, I'm out of the forest now, but I still can't see any adults anywhere. Now, what's that sound? Where's the ground shaking? Oh. oh, yes! Look at the size of their necks and their tails. This is exactly what I've been looking for. A whole herd of adult Diplodocus. <laughs> well, I still haven't found any eggs yet. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any Leelinosaura for a while either. Oh, I think I might be lost. What's that? Where's that coming from? It's a baby! Oh, and I think it's calling for its mother! And here she comes! Oh, don't worry. She's not trying to eat her. She's carrying her. Hang on. They might be heading back to the nest. I'm going to follow them. Perfect. Now, are there any eggshells over there? <gasps> what was that? Oh no, I hope it's not another Allosaur. Ah, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> that looks suspiciously like a Kuwati. And I know that Kuwatis eat everything, including eggs. I hope that mother's got some good defences. Yeah. 
Good trick, Mum. Oh, oh, hang on. Stop it. I'm not trying to eat your eggs. Oh, no wonder she was being protective. She's got two brand new little hatchlings there. They're so young that they can't feed themselves yet, so their mum's doing it. Oh, what a good mum. It's a whole herd of Mutaburrosaurus. Oh, fantastic. Hang on a minute. It's an Allosaurus. He's looking hungry. It says here that the Allosaurus are pretty fast. But the Mutaburrosaurus are standing their ground and their safety in numbers. Be careful. He's making a sound with his nose, just like the noise that Hattie made in the museum. Go on, Mutaburrosaurus. Yes. Well done, plant eaters. Right. I think it's safe enough to go over now. Look at this! I'm having a drink with a Mutaburrosaurus. <laughs> okay, let's go find those red berries. how Hattie thought it would be. They're stripping the leaves from the trees. Then to communicate with each other, they're blowing through the special bumps on their nose. Watch this. <laughs> it worked! If only I knew how to ask them where the red berries are. Hmm. Ah, this looks promising. The Mutaburrosaurus are tearing off the conifers and the red berries are falling to the ground. Then the Lielinosaurus are eating them. One, two, three, four, five. Right, there we go. Oh! 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 Thanks for that. At least I've still got the berries. I'll keep them safe in the bag. There we go. The clock. I've got just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole. Allosaurus eggs. And I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs. Here he comes. I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. Oh, oh. oh and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, that was close. size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Yeah. 
Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And they are all the brothers and sisters. Now, hopefully, they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. that one spotted? Two hungry ornithalestes. I think they might be after the babies. I need to get the mother's attention. It worked! She scared them away. Not only have I found the herd... But I've also got myself a lift. Uh-oh. Things seem to be hotting up here. I think I might get off. These two males are trying to scare each other away. And the winner gets to be the leader. Look at this one. He's flashing blood into his crest. He's showing off. It's getting really colourful. Ah, the one with the best display is the winner. The other one is the loser. That way, they get to sort out who's going to be leader without actually fighting. Although sometimes, showing off doesn't work and a proper fight breaks out. Like these two over here. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, nice. He's struggling back. One's broken its horn. Perfect. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What? No, I just picked it up. No, it's not mine. I don't want to be the leader of a pack. A clock. The museum's going to open soon. What gonna do? Um, Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. A fan? How's this gonna help me? Unless. scared him off. Oh. I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The baby! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. Okay, she's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. 
it says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. Including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. That could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful! Oh, well, that was completely unnecessary. Look at her. I think she's hurt. I'm gonna go after her. Oh, she's resting. Great. Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Modeling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked. Okay. The clock. I've got just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. Look at this! A Brachiosaurus taking a bath and a Stegosaurus behind! There's two of them now. What's that in the water? It's an Othnelia! That's it, buddy. Not far to go now. <laughs> Those plates really are huge. Can't see any bright colours though. I might need to get a bit closer. I wish one of these Stegosaurus would change colour soon. Their plates change colour when they scare off other dinosaurs, so I need to find an angry one. Oh, he's off again. Stegosaurus is big, but not as big as Brachiosaurus. the dinosaurs are big though. The Othnelia are following the Stegosaurus so they can eat the cycad bushes that he's crushing underneath his feet. But they don't seem to annoy him. Not enough for him to change the colour of his plates anyway. Hmm. Maybe something else will. I'm going to follow him. Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole. Allosaurus eggs. 
and I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs. Here he comes. I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. Oh. Oh. Oh, and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just gonna... Whoa, that was close. The size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And they are all the brothers and sisters. Now, hopefully, they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. What's that one spotted? Two hungry ornithalestes. I think they might be after the babies. I need to get the mother's attention. She scared them away. I've travelled back in time 145 million years to the time of Allosaurus. Whoa, and there's one now. He seems to be more interested in that poo down there than me. when there's another Allosaurus nearby. Oh. And there it is. Oh, it looks a lot bigger than he does. Oh, be careful. I think he's trying to scare him off. Giving up. I'd watch out. Oh, that must have hurt. Is he off to? Wait for me. I'm going to follow him. He might lead me to some salt flats. We're not going to get very far at this speed. Is he limping? Oh, of course, poor thing. He must have hurt himself in the fight. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's why he's limping. He's got a thorn stuck in his foot. If 
If he lets me get close enough, I can probably help him. OK, easy. Just trying to help. There we go. Oh, that smell! It stinks! Maybe there's something in Hattie's backpack I can cover my nose with. Hmm. Oh, there's my sandwich for later on. Oh, what's this? That's what I was looking for. Brilliant. Oh, that's better. Although it is a good thing that the smell's getting stronger, it does mean that we're closer to the... To the volcano. I just need to get even closer before that T-Rex over there comes and gets me. T-Rex? The Tyrannosaurus Rex? And it says here that they were not only one of the most massive meat eaters to have ever lived, but also had a great sense of smell and fantastic eyesight. Although, he doesn't seem to be interested in me. More Hattie's backpack. What's he want with that? I can't let him take that. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me, hello? Uh, can you put that down, please? Oh. Oh, that was easy. Too easy. Uh, friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Lovely dinosaur with razor sharp teeth. A hungry look in his eye. Oh, maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Huh? No, that doesn't belong to you. That's Hattie's. Come back. What do you even want it for? That's Hattie. Come back. There he is. He's tied himself out. He's fast asleep. Wish me luck. something in here that he wants. My sandwich. My meaty sandwich. This is what he's after. Are you hungry? Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole. Allosaurus eggs. And I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs. Here he comes. I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. Oh. Oh. Oh, and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just going to... Whoa, that was close. The size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And 
They are all the brothers and sisters. Now, hopefully, they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. What's that one spotted? Two hungry ornithalestes. I think they might be after the babies. I need to get the mother's attention. It worked! She scared them away. I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The babies! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. <laughs> it's OK. She's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. It says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. <sighs> including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. That could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful! Oh, well, that was completely unnecessary. Look at her. I think she's hurt. I'm going to go after her. Oh, she's resting. Great. Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Right, modelling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked! Okay. <laughs> Clock. I've just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. I've travelled back in time 145 million years to the time of Allosaurus. Whoa, and there's one now. He seems to be more interested in that poo down there than me. the call it makes when there's another Allosaurus nearby. Oh. And there it is. Oh, it looks a lot bigger than he does. Oh, be careful. I think he's trying to scare him off. 
giving up. I'd watch out. Must have hurt. Is he off to? Wait for me. I'm going to follow him. He might lead me to some salt flats. Very far at this speed. Huh? Why is he limping? Oh, of course, poor thing. He must have hurt himself in the fight. Wait a minute. That's why he's limping. He's got a thorn stuck in his foot. If he lets me get close enough, I can probably help him. Okay, easy. Just trying to help. There we go. What's that? I hope I'm going the right way. Hmm. I think I'm close. Oh! Ouch! Who put that there? Oh! What's this? Okay, I'm gonna sit on this rock until the mist clears. Ah. Oh, this rock feels like it's moving. What's that noise? Obviously hungrier than I thought. Ah, the mist has cleared. I can see things now. Like that T-Rex I was after. <gasps> T-Rex! Two of them! And they're both asleep! All I have to do is wake them up, get them to roar at me, I can record it on my gizmo, then run back to the clock! Right! How'd you wake a T-Rex up? Um... Hooey! Wakey, wakey! Come on now! Up you get! Um, up! Get up! Wake up! Oh, what am I gonna do? This isn't working! Oh. All right. That's what we're talking about. I just need... Well, where are you going? Now, if one of you could just... Got it. You can stop now. I better go. No! I think I've lost them. Oh no! How did they get there? They must have overtaken me. I'm gonna get past them to the clock. The museum. It's gonna open soon. Um. Oh. Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. A rescue flare? How's that gonna help me here? There's not gonna be anybody around here to rescue me for the next 65 million years. Um, unless... Yes, it's working. They're distracted by the smoke. All right, here I go. Time to head back. 